This video will guide you to assemble, install, and regulate the Safety E system to achieve the best lid assist for your grand piano lid. This drawing is to help you to identify the parts by their names. The box contains the parts and tools needed to assemble one kit with standard size rim bracket. And we heartily recommend that you read all the instructions included in the kit. There are three different rim bracket sizes which fit most of the piano rims. Please refer to the included instruction sheet to find which rim bracket will fit in your piano rim. Assemble the rim bracket as shown using the supplied screws and once they are tightened unscrew them only one quarter of a turn so that the rim bracket will be able to slide on its groove. Now screw the socket cups bolts as shown. They do not have to go all the way in. Make sure that the rim bracket is flush with the cylinder's box as shown. Turn the system upside down and install the cylinder's adjuster bracket. Observe that it is installed correctly. The cylinder's adjuster bracket has six notches to increase or decrease the force of the arm. If you need to change the force of the arm, then first unscrew, one turn only, the bolt closest to the cylinders. Then completely remove the bolt in the notch's groove and slide the cylinder's adjuster bracket to the desired position and replace the bolt. Since you won't know the right force required, we recommend that you use the maximum force notch. This concludes the Safety Ease assembly. Now, let's start the Safety Ease installation. Always verify that all the piano lid hinges are in good condition before you proceed to the Safety Ease installation. And make sure that there is enough clearance between the piano lid and the ceiling of the room. For safety, we heartily recommend that you have at least one person to assist you during this operation. Using the optional bracket brace tool, you can hold the piano lid open in the upright position while installing the safety ease on the piano rim, as shown in the pictures. Install the safety ease on the piano rim as shown. And then, using the supplied 1 8 Allen wrench, adjust both socket cups bolts as shown to attach the cylinder box to the piano rim. But do not over tighten the bolts. Now, carefully test the arm as shown. 
It should go down enough to make contact with the metal plate or below the top of the piano rim. Let's go to the regulation chapter. Carefully start to close the piano lid. Once it makes contact with the safety ease arm, the piano lid should come down smoothly and begin to slow down about 8 to 10 inches before it closes completely. If the arm does not go down below the top of the piano rim, then you have to remove the safety ease and exchange the caps at the bottom of the cylinders for a smaller size. If on the initial installation attempt the lid closes too quickly, then replace one or both cylinders as required for a higher number. If the lid does not close or comes down too slowly, either reduce the force of the arm by changing the position of the cylinder adjuster bracket or replacing the cylinders with smaller number cylinder. The lid must close evenly. If not, then reposition the safety ease as shown. The safety ease must be removed from the piano prior to moving it. This concludes the installation. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to call at the phone number shown in this video.